Welcome back. Today I want to show you how to create these amazing gradients that you can use anywhere in your design. It's super quick and easy in Photoshop, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is create a large artboard where we're going to create our gradient. So I'm going to start with a 3000 by 3000 artboard. You want to have the resolution high, so 300 pixels per inch. RGB color, 8-bit, white background, that's all good. So let's create our document. The next thing we're going to do is create a new layer, which is at the bottom right. Once you have that new layer here, we're going to select the brush tool and we're going to make it large. So I have it around 500 pixels and opacity. We're going to keep at hundred flow, 100 smoothing, 100 and hardness. You want to change to zero. And then we're going to pick the first color that we want in our gradient. So for this one, I want to do like a sunset uh, yellow to red to orange type gradient. So let's start with our yellow color. And we're going to zoom in a bit and let's just draw the first color in our gradient. Next, we're going to do the secondary color. So let's do an orange. And make sure not to go too close to the edges or else when you resize it, you'll, you'll see that the gradient got cut off. Next, let's go to a red color. So we have our gradient drawn, but it's just three lines and it's pretty distinguishable between the three. So the next thing we want to do is add a little bit of effects just to blur it out even more and mess with the shape of these lines here. So in order to make our gradient more flowy and abstract, what we're going to do is go to filter and liquify. And then you'll see this modal pop up and the size I'm going to make large. So around 700, the pressure will do about 50 and density about 50 as well. And what we're going to do is just start dragging around and applying the liquify effect, which will make the gradient flow more. So we're going to remove those lines and have it more of a flowing shape. And you can tweak this and, and liquify it as, much as you need. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go with something like this. So now let's click OK. Now what we want to do is blur this out even more because we can still see all the separate lines and colors. So we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna go to blur and we're gonna add Gaussian blur. So with this Gaussian blur, it allows you to blur it out even more. And we're just going to drag and see how much we need to blur it in order for it to all start blending together. So I like it about this level. You can still see a little bit of that yellow going down, but for me, this works. So I'm going to click OK here and let's add a dark background just to see how that pops. So select this bottom layer. Let's choose a black color, color drop it. And that's looking pretty nice. So at this point you can export this as a PNG and start using it, but I'm going to take it one step further and add some noise. It'll add a nice texture to it. So let's go back to filter, go down to noise, add noise. And we're just going to drag this around and see the level. So this is obviously too much. And let's just start bringing it back down until it's visible, but it's not overpowering. So I think this is a good level and it might be hard to see in the video, but it's crispier on my screen here. So I'm ready to export this uh, and start using it. So what I'm going to do is remove the background and just have it on a transparent. And then we're going to go file, save as, and we're going to choose PNG option and save. So now that we export it as a PNG, we can start implementing it in our designs and using it wherever we need. So I'm just going to drag it into Figma here. And as you can see, it's transparent. It looks awesome. We can mix it with other gradients. Or we can create a similar screen as the one next to it.
you enjoyed that video and you want to see more just like it, please subscribe, drop a like, and let me know in the comments what you want to learn next and what you want to see. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.